Right, good evening, you lovely, lovely lot. Welcome to your Monday Omsi Madness here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. Hope you are well this fine Monday evening. Well, um, but back in the West Country today, it's been a bit of a rough day, let's just say. So, nice bit of chilled Monday action before we bring our new sim on Wednesday. So I look forward to, we'll uh, give you a little bit more information then on that as we go into the stream tonight. So welcome to the stream, James Cranland. Welcome Max and Empty Chanel. Welcome to the stream guys. Hope you're both well. Oh, so they're all well this Monday evening. Uh, a couple of minutes early, so obviously I'll wait for people to come to the chat as usual. So I sat here twiddling my thumbs. Um, you can see what we're on tonight. Revisit an old friend because I didn't quite go out of plan this time. We use this, so hopefully this will behave itself this time, and I don't barbecue it. We are on the Polygon Studios Renown. Right bus from now, superb bus to drive here. Welcome to the stream, Lewis. New name in the chat, welcome to the stream, mate. Evening, Carl, hope you're well, sir. So we are in the West Country. Um, nice, my sort of detox map, I call it. It's just a... Friendly map, nice chilled Monday evening. Welcome, Lee. Hope you have a good day. Hope everyone's had a fantastic Monday and one's well. We're on board the Polygon Studios right now. Last time, this didn't quite go to plan. We have been revisiting this for a per reason. I have sort of a. How can I put it? I need to get sort of back on track with this bus because we haven't used it since I think it was stream three when we did OMSI. Um, and I barbecued the engine on this. So, I thought we'll revisit an old friend today. Let's see if we can get sort of equal score with this bus. So, let's jump on board the um, Polygon Studios right now. It is in the first Barbie livery. So, it's a quick look at that, shall we? First badger line in the Barbie livery. Classic first Barbie livery. Um, you can't be it, to be fair. Um, interior, standard interior, first Barbie uh, interior with the purple motif and the patterns and patterned floor. It's probably one of the best bus on, on the same drive. This, I've got to admit, it's one of my favourites. Good evening, Jim. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you have a great day. So, yeah, we are back on the Renown. Let's see how this goes, because obviously last time things went a little bit P-shaped. So, I've got sort of a... I've got a score settled with this bus. Big style. So, let's have a look. Yes. Oh God, can I remember what the code is for this? Nope. No, it's not that. Bear with me. Let me get my uh, numbers. All right. I think it's this. I remember it. Yes, it is. Well, I thought I'd written it down. What's our bus number? We haven't got one, so 910 will do. Just off the reg. Zero. Security number one. Service number, we're on 35 to kick things off with. Tri-action of travel, one. Journey number one will do. Loading first. There we are. Right, that's cool. Um, let's get our things set up, shall we, on our uh, running boards. 35. Give us a 35. Right. Taunton's Town Centre. Uh, nope, that's not the one we need. Yeah, that's the one we need. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. We'll replace that. That's fine. Let's get our destination set up. So 35 Penton, there we go, the usual stop, make sure, obviously, oh, that's 36 win. Make sure that on our destination screens, okay. There we are, that's all desktop, brilliant. So yeah, we're back on the Polygon Studio now, now our usual favourite of my West Country, just, it's been having a really bad day today, it's just a, uh, so I just needed some sort of detoxes, just say, uh, we'll do multiple buses though. This is just one bus I'm going to use today. We are going to do, as I promised, Jim and McGill's vehicle today as well. So we'll do that as well today on the yeah, West Country. It just makes you sort of, it's an easy map to sort of flip between buses, this one, which is good. So I thought we'd do it. So let's uh, give that a quick rare. Right, 
the sun, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get the pressure built up. Right, let's get moving. Why does this bus look like its suspension is knackered? Squeaky brakes, we got squeaky brakes. So yeah, welcome to the stream, everyone. I hope everyone's well. Right, why does my bus feel like it's cockeyed? <laughs> why does the bus actually sagging at the back, isn't it? I thought it was. So I do the yes. Um, let me do something here. Oh, no, that's not the one. That's not the button. No, that's the one. Alright, you want a ticket, do you? What do you want? Alright, let's get a uh, 5.50. Oh god, I'm used to that. 5.50. Oh, yeah. So you need... 1, 2, 3, 50 change. Thank you. Oh, right, let's get something here. Where's the uh, level on this? The... Uh, what you really should do is home up before you get out of the bus, but you know. This is me. Madness. That's why we call it Unzi Madness. Um, so I'm how uh, the uh, level, how our little thing is to bring the bus to the No, that's not it. No, that's not it either. Is it over here? Let's turn some lights on that might help as well. Right, what do you want? Oh, yeah, that's a bit close. Right, you need a one pound ticket, do you? There we are. There we go, one sec. Or not, it's not it. That was a one pound ticket, son. One pound was there. There you go. No. Uh, you want that? What, did you, what do you want then? I don't dare. It'll be that one then, is it? No. One pound ticket. Oh, sorry, I'm reading that totally wrong. I should read, read stuff today. I can tell my mind's all with it. All with it. I am. No, yeah, is that it? Uh, there you go. One pound ticket. Take it then. Uh, was the bus already glitched? Uh, yes. Single. Yeah, student single. Tell. Is it that one then? Okay, my fault, my bad. We should really learn to uh, do stuff before we get to me. Ian and Gemma, I hope you have a fantastic holiday. Right, what do you need? A £5.50 one. I've never used this ticket machine before in anger, so there you go. Did you? For 50 change, thank you. And here comes Doris. Right, what is the button in this there? I think for a. Um, Neil. No, it's nothing like that. No, it's not like that. Right, where's me uh, Neil button on this? Right. There we are, that's it. Please. Uh, right, so. <laughs> now, uh, do we get the wheel back on? Yeah, you can tell when it's not prepared to do Tennis week, yes, no. And hello, wheel. Would you like to come back? It's a uh, welcome to the stream. Well, welcome, hoping everyone as well. It's not kind of, it's not like going smooth. And you're now, I mean, I'm cursed with this bus. I think what it is. Ah, oh, come on, where's the wheel gone? Come on. Um, okay. Interesting. Uh, 
Uh, which we will. Huh? <laughs> it's... Uh, wind's broke it already. This is a good start. Uh, where the hell's that gone? Come on. Uh, okay. My wheels disappeared. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, alright. That's it. Well, well, Lee, for 12 months of membership, welcome to the um, 12 months club, Lee. Happy anniversary, mate. Thank you for continuous support. Appreciate it. Oh, this is interesting. The wheels disappeared. Why? I do not know. I've clicked something. I'm not sure what. Oh, there we are. It's there. There, we got it. We got it. We're, we're, we're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. Right, I've sorted out the air suspension on it. Oh, look at him parked right in behind me. That's handy. Right, so let's look at our timetable anyway. What time would you out of here? Let's get this madness has started already. Hey, right, two minutes class. I can't do anything because he's right up my bum here. So I'm going to have to go forward because that AI yeah, traffic is not going to go anywhere. Right. Ah, there we are. We leveled off finally, have we? Is that, are we now straight, are we? Yeah, that's... Right, so let's bring it back up. Right. This is going well. Me and this renown is cursed. I'll tell you what it is. That's what it is. Me and this renown is cursed. Right. Right. So we're needing, that's good. So we're going to pull forward, this should automatically go back up then. Right, so I can't do anything, because I can't reverse out, because he's there. I freaking Enviro 400 decided to uh, park up my bum. Right, let's just... This is going well. It's going to be one of them days. Welcome to the stream, boy. Welcome to Mamsie Madness. There we go. Let's get moving. I left a minute early, but he can have that stand. Me and this renown just don't get along. I've come to conclusions on this one now. Yes, we're reviewing and what you could say an old friend, however, sort of Scott, to pick up this boss. We haven't used it for a very, very long time. There we are. So, yeah. We've got an old Scott to pick up this. Last time I used this, I kind of incinerated the engine on it. So let's hopefully we can sort of get through the day without incinerating anything. It's going to be a good load of looks at it. There we go. Let's get something up quickly because I remember what stopped in and I've done this a thousand times yet. But I don't need that up. I'll try and get that one, thank you. Like that. And Jack, rolling with 13 months of membership. Congratulations. Happy 13 months. Glad to support any way I can. Well, even in what you care about. Welcome to the stream, mate. Have a great day. Right, what have I missed? Passengers are white. Are you sure they ain't wrong? It's the game being an interesting game. Omsi being Omsi today, but it's... Well, I don't know what's going on in this game today. I'm sort of... Yeah. Do you know what I'm running truck same on their test? It's sort of, this game is so glitchy, it's unbelievable. So you need two, three, three. No, that's the wrong one, man. This is going well. I said this is always going well. Right, so two. Right, come on. There you go, man. That's the right change. What does Doris want? 290 to get. Trying to do it the proper way, so. There you go. Where's that one pound coins? Is that a t one pence piece? Can't see. Yeah, they're one pound coins, aren't they? Uh, what did you have? What was that? Two ninety tickets. Or you need? No, that's wrong man. It was two of them. I was trying to get thank you. Uh, what do you want? I oh, want trying wanting three singles. Do you need a five pound knot? And one of them. And where's my 10 pays gone? Where's my 10 pence is gone? Where's that? 
There you go, Matt. Nope. There you go. That's right. Blame traffic accidents, Max. Ship drivers. Oh, this last night. You missed being on the quiz. Jack Darren was waiting for you. So a quick look. So we're on a great eight. Welcome to the stream, everybody. So we are on tonight. We are revisiting an old friend. We are going to use multiple buses today. Starting off on. I've got a start and meet with this bus. The Polygon Studios fantastic red bus with renowned Volvo B10. Absolute animal. This is in the first Barbie Badger line livery. The standard interior for first Badger line, which was our Barbie livery vehicles, which is just purple with the uh, patterns on. So, yeah, that's what we're on tonight. Standard, a little bit of standardization, you can say. But it's a fantastic bus to drive when I'm not barbecuing it, that is, anyway. So welcome to the stream guys. Right, I'm just gonna quickly get that off there. Let's get my water on. Right, we're gonna head ourselves down to the paint and I was gonna do something different but it's been one of sort of a rough day today, so this is what I call a you can do this in your map in your sleep sort of map and just sort of a chill one and kind of explain what we're gonna be doing on Wednesday and you same put into the channel. I do like the sound effects on this air uh, renowned soup. They've really nailed the, the sounds on this. In the dog world, welcome and hope you're all good today. Not too bad, mate. Better now the evening's nearly upon us. Hope you had a great day wanting to stream. Very okay, I say right. Well, now we're going to read that out, uh, Max. I've got the energy of your fluff tonight. Thank you. Hope everyone's had a fantastic Monday. What have you been up to? A lot of people back at work today, college, after Easter break, and sort of time off and stuff. Weather well, have been shocking as usual, but hey, hello. Nothing new there for you, uh, I do like this, but the sound effects are superb on it. When I'm not barbecuing it, that is anywhere. As I said, we've got history with this. Unfortunate history. So hopefully, I'm not going to cook it tonight. Right. So if anybody is truly interested, the Republican Studios Renowned is available for your it's probably the most expensive game uh bus on the game. But you do get a repaint pack with it as well, free. Uh, for about fifteen quid. This is from the Polygon Studios website directly. The map we are on today is free where anybody who knows Omzi knows it's West Country. So I thought we'd do uh, multiple buses and I've got a, I'm gonna do some McGill's solo for Jim I've been promising McGill stuff so we'll do multiple buses because there's a good map to do multiple buses with. I mean the traffic's quiet this morning. Where is everyone? I do like that I said the rattles and bounces like the real thing was it's brilliant. I so said, hopefully this time it stays in one piece, he says. Let's do a stage thing. So we are at the college. I said, what's everyone? So quick look at the comments, no worries, man. Same bullshit he always says anyway. Yep, spot on there. So I hope everyone's had a great day. What have you been up to? What's and the big million dollar question. What did everyone have for tea tonight? I cheated and went to my usual go-to food when we're in stress and had my KDs. Nothing new there then. So that's me sorted out. I had two bacon double cheeseburgers, a large fries, and a couple of chicken nuggets. Why not? It's been one I'm sort of yeah, could uh, bounce somebody up a wall there, so Yeah, on oh now we'll come to it. We are bringing a brand new sim on Wednesday. And now can you Jim go on thinking, uh oh, that you're letting you in charge with a 40 ton truck? Yes, we are bringing Euro Truck Sim to the channel. I'm introducing that on Wednesday. That is your Wednesday stream, so we can start mixing it up a little bit. Lumsy and I've um, been testing that for the last three days. It runs superb. It is so much better. For performance-wise on the PC than say OMSI is, it's not as temperamental. 
it's been an absolute joy to get my head around. I've set everything up, just got a few tweaks to make to it tomorrow, a couple of DLCs to get from Steam, and we should be good to go for Wednesday evening. So, um, Euro Truck Sim, um, and then we will be doing multiplayer at some point on it. Um, Wednesday is an introduction to the channel, um, sort of show people who've never seen it perhaps before what it's all about, and we will then, then be put, taking it up to the multiplayer platform as well so we'll be doing multiplayer nights on Euro Truck Sim so if you are interested it is available on CD keys or was I think it's currently sold out but they'll get them back in stock again and um, for around about six pounds it is a lot of the DLCs are quite cheap as well which makes it really sort of affordable game to play so um, yeah Truck Sim look forward to bringing that got some fantastic DLCs looking at it like you can do like Paris to Weber, Frankfurt, Airport and stuff like that, which is quite cool. Um, so, even get on up. so yeah, we'll bring in uh, Truck Sim. We're going to start up in Korean mode on Wednesday, do a little bit of Korean mode, some short trips around, say, uh, yesterday we're doing uh, Glasgow up to Edinburgh, Edinburgh up to Aberdeen, that sort of thing. Um, and then we'll do some cross-continental Europe stuff as well. And as I get add-ons and DLC for it, obviously we'll be expanding it further and so on. So I said I know Kev's already got it, and I know Gemma has, I think. So uh, so we will be doing multiplayer nights where you can, if you are wanting to join us, you're more than welcome. And um, we'll do like con truck convoys across Europe and stuff. So yes, I'm. To tell you one thing, after being on, on that and then coming back to this, the steam is far better on uh, Truck Sim. It's just acts a lot more how you'd expect some to handle. This is a little bit more floaty than the steering. So yeah, oh Jesus, Arctic trucks. I knew Jim was going to say that. Keep off the roads everybody. It wasn't too bad, the air testing. We're going to use Truck MP with him. I'm not sure yet, but we'll look into all, all aspects. Kev, if you want to put some stuff forward for us to do, put it in there, the uh, the grip chat, and we'll look into it. I haven't got even looked at the multiplayer aspect of it yet, but you know your way around it. It's a new game for me, so I'm more than happy to sort of let's just say you want to guide me, go for it, because I could do with a lot of help on it. It's the first time I played the game, so on Saturday, so any help is appreciated and so. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely look into multiplayer. Um, should be really good fun actually doing truck convoys across Europe and stuff. Um, it was available on CD keys. I did have a look today before we went live. It's currently sold out, but they do get them back in stock. So and it's only about seven pounds. So if anybody does want to join, it, it is affordable. It's not one of them games that's going to break your piggy bank. So come on. This is the last time I cooked this because it doesn't like hills. Come on. Typical Volvo. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to bringing that to you guys uh, on Wednesday. Actually, and I also had a better time with it. The performance makes the get How can I put it? Your, your gameplay better because you've got more confidence in the game behaving where OMSI. I'm always a little bit on edge with the game. Even when I'm live streaming it, you never know how it's going to behave because it's such a temperamental game you are always on edge with the sim but I tell you what, I felt different with trucks and I just thought actually this is going to be a pleasure to stream because it's not temperamental it ran really smoothly and um, yeah so um, apart from the odd little accidents I was getting used to setting up the wheel and stuff it went well so I look forward to bringing that and Max has gone for the first time tonight how many times will that be evening David welcome to the stream I hope you're all welcome uh, well, welcome and well, you've had a great day, mate. So, yeah, um, anybody who doesn't want to join us on the multiplayer nights will give you the information on Wednesday. Um, I'll even look at CD keys today and um, we'll see when it's back in stock. I don't know what the requirements are on Truck Sim. Kev might be able to comment a little bit more on that. I don't think it's heavy on the requirements, but. Um, if you've got a graphics card and a, pro a decent pro an OK processing system, I think you'll be alright with it. Um, so, if you've got a laptop or a PC and you're wanting to join us, then um, on the multiplayer nights, we'll be definitely doing some stuff. Um, really, I look forward 
they should be really good nights. Truck convoys, we do F1 cargo, I guess, um, wide load stuff like helicopters on the back. And Tom was looking into this and um, looking at wide load stuff and the other stuff that we can do. Oh my god, this bus gets a little bit hot and bothered on hills, doesn't it? Oh, the thrash on that, wow. Go on, girl. Do a little bit of Volvo thrash. Here comes Jordan, the pink Range Rover. Now you're getting off here. It is a good bus to drive, this one. It behaves itself like it is. Not heavy load on grav, not heavy on graphics to be fair, brilliant. So anybody who does want to join us, like I say, CD Keys is your best place to get it. When we've got back in stock, and what do you want? Two pound. Uh, no, you need. There's a lot. No, hang on. I'm looking at which one it is. Um, uh, is it that one? Yeah, there it is. There you go. So you need five. Let's be 10 pounds to that. There you go. You're getting on. Is she getting on or not then? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, okay. She's just walking back and forwards. She's a bit spooky, she, isn't she? No way, no wide loads for the, the love of God, no wide loads. <laughs> James, James, I'm hot sweats already about this. Honestly, it would be good. I actually drove better on it because it performs better, so it's an easier game to manage. And the steamers are far better on it. It does behave like a, more realistically than OMSI does. OMSI's a weird game. It's very bus specific as well. So how you sort of it handles. Um, where that one seems to have like a generic sort of style about it. Where this can be very sort of like this Renown. I love it because it's heavy. It's clunky. It sticks to the road. Where with it, obviously the coach we had it floated. Also, I did look into Fernbus Simulator, but my sort of process at the moment until it gets upgraded is just one step too low for it. So when I get upgrades done in the near future, the next lot of upgrades will have Fernbus Simulator as well. I did enjoy the radio element of uh, Euro Trucks as well, which is obviously why I can't stream. But the way the fact that you can tune, like tune into live radio stations while you're driving along the road, which is quite a cool element of it, which I did enjoy. Right, so what? So I can see what's coming down the road. Right, we're clear. Perks of a 90s bus, you can do that in the night it's modern technology. Right, it's not hooking this engine, I've got no heat alarms going off, and my engine. Cooling is pretty good at the moment, so we're looking good at the moment on this. Like I say last time we used this, things got a little bit out of hand and got a little bit hot on the collar, didn't it? Bless itself. So hopefully, this time it behaves. Like I said, this is like more, how can I put it? This bus handles like you'd expect a bus to handle. Some of them on here are just very floaty, very sort of. You never know where you are with it. You either got brakes or you don't. And it, sometimes it can make just playing it hard. Where certain buses on here like this makes it easy when you know where you stand with it. And like the gameplay here, it's stuttering. You don't get any of that on truck seven notice. So it makes you sort of how can I put it? Just overall experience of the game better because you're playing it better. I said with this game I'm always on the edge waiting for it to go wrong because you never know what I'm doing it's going to come back to bite you in the bum. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, multiplayer will be coming very soon as well. Um, could do, so Kev, if you want to advise us and everything and how we do that, it would be really appreciated, bud. I'm not really getting on our off here. Uh, this is a nice bus. It is a, a nice bus. This is some, some, this is some of these sound effects. There we go. Just 
got some nice sounds this one now. There, so it's going through the gearbox, the retarder on it, as it's going back through, as it's called. Nice that, I do I enjoy that. Proper Volvo. That's one thing I do miss of. I do miss a renown on the roads. They just had a unique sound about them. They were brilliant buses back in the day. Thank you, Paul, for, for the super stick there. One pound forty nine, mate. Appreciate it. Good evening, Brandon. Welcome to the air show. Oh, mate. Any truckers MP would allow us to multiplayer with completely different mods. Wow, that'd be cool then. So, yeah, if you guys have got experience on this, please check it in the group chat. Or I can set a group chat up where we have a Euro Truck Sim, tricks, truck sim sort of talk, uh, group where we can all sort of, you can give me advice. Like I say, it's a new game for me. So, any help, and, like I say, advice, just getting it going would be appreciated. What mods are the best to get, etc. Um, please, please do. Because, um, I say, up to Saturday, I've never played the game before, so um, if we want to come together, it might help. So, and then we could do get trucks and nights sort of underway, that would be brilliant. Right, let's get our back end off the mate, and off of the uh, other side of the road. Evening time, welcome to the stream, mate. Have you had a great Monday? So I just got I came back to this because I thought we haven't used it since our barbecue did, which was about on our I think it was a uh, show Show Three that we had our barbecue this. So I thought we have to revisit an old friend just to get sort of points back on it because my driving has obviously improved since then, so I know how to handle this better now. Hopefully, he says. Probably I want the barbecue in it today, so I keep an eye on the engine air temperature gauge. I do, like I said, I do miss a renown on the road. Going northeast, it's renowned for a superb buses, really comfortable as well. They were. Uh, so we've got, we've got traffic here to our right. Don't jump there, for God's sake. Jesus. The E400 going the other way now, colleague. Compared to a 90s bus, you can do that. I remember the drivers doing that when I was growing up. It used to be men over the pull up the junction and just slam the doors open. I think even thank God nobody's on um, standing there when he does it. Left that there, didn't you, in the day? Jesus. Definitely need to download Pro Mods. Gives you the more. Are we will start that again? Definitely need to download Pro Mods. It gives you more to the maps to explore. Brilliant. Cheers for that, Kev. It's a well, um Obviously, Wednesday is going to be the um, start of it all. So I said it looks like it's got major potential. So we can start mixing it up. Um, but Monty will still be with us. I mean, probably a bit. We've invested that much time and effort into this game, it's going nowhere at the moment, but it just means we can do some other than Omzi. I would have brought it to tonight, but in a way, actually, after the day's gone, I don't think I'd be in the right headspace today for it. But there's just a couple of things I need to set up tomorrow when I'm off, and then sort of we're good to go for Wednesday. I just don't want to rush something to a stream that I don't feel comfortable with 100%. I'd like to give it 100% rather than 98, if that makes sense, so you guys get the best experience possible when watching. Um, like I said, we're nearly, and like some of the advice from you and Brandon there, Kev, I think we'll be onto a winner, so it seems to cause a bit of a, it's just a, it's ignited the chat today, which is brilliant to see, so I think a few people look forward to it as cool and myself. So I'm a bit of a, do you like me trucks back, a bit of a store back spotter back in my day? So, obviously we've got our truck experts in the chat as well, like Jim, who knows his way around buses, trucks, trains, and he's just a general walking PD of transport, it's just brilliant. Come on, hang on. Bring our revs down. There we are. Typical Volvo, being a typical Volvo. 
Get all of the sounds this makes it. It just makes some superb sounds. Does the bus ride come with on board airbags, you cheeky git? Here we go, Jack starting with the wise cracks. So how's the cooking going, Jack? How many houses have you burnt down this week? Alright, let's go. Hey, excuse me, we haven't hit anything, we've not hit a curb, we've hit nobody. All is good in the world of Omsi at the moment. Loves the AI traffic keeps out of my way. I said the steering on this when it bounces like that, it's awful. Chucks in, there didn't see any of that. Sticking them out. Speed down. I just like thrashing it just for that sound it makes there. Going through the gearbox and the turbo, it's brilliant. Are those what you call Doris Knees Knickers Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag shot fired. Right, what does he want? Child single. Uh, what was that? Child single. She didn't single. No, it's not that one. It's that one. Right, oh, you would give me a. Okay, yours is an easy one. There you go, mate. And there's a one. No. No, yeah, it's that one. There you go. You need a pound change. There you go, sir. Not a bad little cash tray, that. It's nice that you've got notes in it as well. As well. As well, he says. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited um, about bringing trucks in, though. I think it should be a really cool um, sort of. Something new as well. And uh, anyway, like I said, we're going to have multiplayer nights get us all involved. Um, customization, it'd be interesting to see some people how to customize the trucks as well. Cause you can do, I've seen all the reskins in the workshop that Steam has for it, it looks absolutely fantastic. The workshop on Steam for it, so it seems to have a really good broad um, spectrum in the game. Where this OMSI is a little bit more sort of, yes, we've got lots for it, but it's not as wide. I don't think the spectrum on it as say the other truck sim seems a lot more author. Apart from the lurker times, I don't have OMSI when I want to drive bus, I do the bus mod for trucks, free sim too, and loads of packs. Oh wow, cool. Look into that then, Brandon. OMSI, I think it's more your purest bus simulator. This is like, if you want, this is how I would want, if I, if I was designing a bus simulator, it's more, this I would say more, the yeah, bus enthusiast sim. Um, it's not a bad game, Mumsy. I said I've enjoyed playing it and I'm looking forward to a new challenge with um, your trucks and but and I said it's got a special I mean I've got a soft spot for Mumsy, I'm not gonna lie now and I'm especially like buses like this one now, which are superb mods for it. It's come a long way as Mumsy, even since I've started playing it, especially boredom being out now, it's been a game changer. But Oh, you're not getting on then? I'm not too far out as all it is. Oh, for Pete's sake. You pussy gits. Ooh, why? Alright. Well, the pastors are going to live with that. Alright, let's go. And thank you for the kind donation. Who leveled up? I believe. Is I'll look at that in a second. Sorry about that, I've got bands up my uh, back end here. Well, I'm to paint to people, but I'm to paint them. A familiar sight with us all. For me, this is just a chill out Monday, have a bit of fun, have a bit of crack, catch up on the Monday madness of the start of the week and some of the sort of maps. It makes me, it makes me feel, I, like in, I love driving West Country, I've got on there. If you had a crap day, just come on West Country fire half an hour, it makes you feel a bit better. And I mean, you've got a good bus like this to choose from, it makes it even better still. Lights, I've committed, tough luck, yeah, oh, the hell, it's alright. Again, you don't have any bells there, man, it's like a sort of cruising, not uh, flying. 
You lazy git kid, I'm moving around the corner, I'm at the terminus. A little bit of WD-40 in those brakes, I think. But brilliant, if, you can, if I can, I'll send you a link to my stream. I probably should allow you to see all my workshop subscriptions so you can get us in their mods. Ah, like, absolute legend, that. It'd be a really helpful, Brandon. Cheers for that, mate. He said, maybe we're setting up a WhatsApp group for anybody who does want to be in truck sim. We can sort of share stuff between us then. I think if you're up for that, that is. And because um, it seems to be causing a bit of a stir. Um, so it's, uh, this will be, I mean obviously still with us, um, I'll be doing London next, we'll look at the schedule, obviously I'll be bringing London, bring London back next week sometime, um, probably look at the schedule and then look at obviously London next week on here, because that did go down there as well, so back on the uh, London next week, so, and then it gives us a break from like, so then we'll go back to boredom and um, Lincolnshire as well, in due course. So. Jesus, I had a feeling they were going to change, so I thought I'd ready myself for it. Right, I'm going to, to shoot off. Neil Glue got a meeting. Well, we'll see you Wednesday, maybe it's not. What the hell? I see a Van Hull bus coach, body trailer maker has went bankrupt, really? Wow! wonder who that was then? Might explain why Reaver have been ordering, it's not VDL by any chance is it? Because I know they've been ordering um, ADL stuff recently at Reaver and no longer can you get a Pulsar so I wonder if it's potentially that I see one whole touch body in the trailer there, Mmm Interesting Bye, right, Max. See you in about 10 minutes then. I heard they were trying to refinance a couple of months ago. Jim, wow. So, is that BDL that's gone bust then, guys? BDL bought over by Van Hull, was coach, side business, Van Hull made coach buddies. Yeah, alright. So I know Pete Reaver been ordering ADL stuff as their uh, prod new buses, um, which is we've always gone sort of around the right bus route on for quite a while, which was interesting. Yeah, we have to speed down. I like to help. Brilliant. Right, one to bed, people. Let's do a return journey, so let's head on a return journey. Actually, actually no, we'll do a mix of routes today. So if I head down to Stormley, let's get that screen up, so let's switch that in the car because that's getting annoying. In seconds, so I've got 100 there, uh, right. Uh, Stormley number 12, so I'm not mad. Uh, where are you, where are you, there? Change that over. I don't storm me. Let's get time to look at that. Time off, because that is getting rather annoying. Uh, where are we? Where are we? At? Um, can't really roll it, are we? Yeah, that's fine. Gives us our timetable. Look, we time timetable for that. I'm probably very so a few minutes here. It's not my indicator off, so it's getting rather annoying. Just switch the engine off so we don't overheat it. Oh, so it's There we are. Switch it off for two minutes just so it doesn't get hot with itself, like it did last time. So, if you just joining us, this is what we're on today. On board the Polygon Studios 
fantastic robust renowned first badger line Barbie livery. Got a couple of minutes so we do out. Tom, if you're still here, how's the flight sim? Coming along says Brandon will mod and reinstalling. We deal a daft bus. Ah right. So it's so what you out of there every time we do out here. And Tom turns roll. 9.52, let's get that time for a little bit. Um, 48, it gives us a couple of minutes, that's what I... Right, let's switch that off. There we are, that's better. Just gives us a little bit of not cooking the engine that way then. Right, let's so make sure we're all lined up the screen back up our the journey. Obviously, why has that not changed? Thank you. Could be because we're running a power end up. Yeah, well okay. done. We're not from destination, that's weird. Why is that? Come on, stop being a git again. How long do you want? You need a ticket. Two ninety ticket. You need one. Ten. There you go. When do you think there will be a model seven two seven from two XL and I'll response one I'd love to get. I haven't a clue. Um, someone will come to Google. Am I having a stork when is wearing a different T-shirt? Look, that's some chin. Thanks, Dom. Appreciate it as always. How are you? Seem to be your usual delightful self. Welcome to the stream, mate. Thank you very much. Do you know why I wear that t-shirt? Because that's the one I've got on that thing. So I, I think, well, we'll wear it. It seems to be my sort of staple thing. Um, so that's the reason why I wear it for here. It's my sort of grey... Man, I could do with a departure on this t-shirt, really, because I'm going to hold in my shorts, that would be better, but we'll look into that for the future. Hope you've had a great day, Dom. Hope you were, uh, when you're in the flying next, mate. Great Ryan video, by the way, a while ago, but I'm, I'm being busy with it, says Brandon. Alright, let's get this thing fired back now, let's get rid of that. Has our screen popped up yet? Or is this just being temperamental? It's got a side screen. We've got a rear screen, haven't we? Yeah. So yeah, obviously you're a truck sim on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. I was going to say Tuesday there. Tomorrow night we're not. Uh, we've got a night off, obviously with um, sort of things like that at the moment. Um, then we'll look at uh, obviously. Um, are we going to do maybe the one later in the week? Um, we'll look into that, obviously I'll speak to Tom about it stuff and we'll see where we go from there really. So, just turning the high down, down the chorus this time. The high down chorus. Uh, hope you're, are you in the UK at the moment? Um, are you flying um, Dom? Well, tell me would you out of here again? Check on that. Do, 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 Tom's road. Right, let's get this fire back up. Alright. I mean, it's all we got. What destination come on yet, my friend? Is it just on DB? Do you know what? I can't go. I'll put some out. Some going. That's fine. It was working before, so. Are you going to work now for me? We've got a side. Yeah. <laughs> Destination screen, screen's gone. TP. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm just going to look at this up here. Yeah, it's on there. It's just not showing on there. Uh, right. Right. Put some lights on. No, it's still a show. That's weird, that. That is totally weird. 
Mm, let me do something. Um, if I change that up. Oh, um, oh, there we are. Now it's. I mean, now it's decided to show up. So, all you're working. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a working destination screen. Bloody boss. Alright, let's get rid of that. Good luck, he goes. Alright, let's get moving. Oh. I don't know what's just there. So, yeah, um, if you guys have got any suggestions of what routes that we can do on multiplayer as well, that'd be cool. Alright, let's bring that up. Put that in there, uh, drive. Right, let's head down to Stony and we'll change vehicles there and do something different. Oh, come on, see. I noticed the other truck doesn't have any lag either, which was sort of. I was waiting for the lagging and it was never coming. I was like, wow. Yeah, I don't need some island brakes, like. Which DLCs do you have away for? ETS and then at the moment, and um, that's what I'm looking at tomorrow. Uh, to, um, sort of plan of attack is tomorrow DLCs. Um, I've got the game installed, made sure it was running smooth before I put any DLCs in. Um, tested it, got my wheels set up as it I needed, um, sort of how to my sort of likeness, and then spent just getting yesterday morning, just kind of getting used to the game. And obviously, then I'll start on the DLCs tomorrow, so. Oops. Wait, concentrate and instead of looking at the chat. Oh my god, behave yourself. Right. Yeah, that's where I have some lights on. So yeah, um just have any recommendations you can make. Uh we appreciate it. I've seen one which is like got the helicopters and stuff on the back, it's about quid or something. Some CDKs I was looking at. Um not CDKs, Steam. Um, I was looking at looking at some of the workshop stuff on um, Steam as well, which looked cool. So anything like that, I mean, I do like it right now. You can proper thrash it with an inch of its life, and it's just yeah. The sound effects go, will you? Brilliant. Like, what do you want? 550. There you go. There you go. Euro truck, you want to come to Bournemouth one day? I, what did I do yesterday? I did some Scottish, Scotland stuff. Some stuff out of Newcastle. And I went down to Birmingham, Cardiff on it as well. And over to Manchester at one point. Just on these little short um, sort of jobs that you've got given on the career mode. So anybody, anybody who is interested in joining us, I said it is a quite a cheap game when CD keys do have it in. And I looked last night, it was currently out of stock, but they said they're always getting them in again. I think they've had a bit of a sale on recently, so it will come back in. From what I heard as well, Steam and CD keys will be due their spring sale very shortly. So there'll be quite a few things coming up at a reduced price. Um, for that, in that, from what I've been told, so keep a look out. DLCs and stuff like that, um, I've been warned about, so um, yeah, if anybody's interested. And if anybody's interested in what we're driving tonight, this is a pairware mod, probably the most expensive bus that you get for the OMSI. This is about £16 from the um, Polygon Studios actual website. It was never the only place you can get it, but they've done a superb job with it. They're Gemini's joke very soon as well. The B9 Mark 1, which I cannot wait for. Um, so that's... Uh, and we've also got a Scania Mi Deck coming out as well. I 
which is quite cool. Do look a scan you on there. It's behaving itself just right now. Anyway, it's not cooking itself, like the other one. Don't buy any DLCs until I go on sale when, right? Pity Euro Truck Sim doesn't do Truck Quest, uh, that'd be good. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool, actually, wouldn't it? I think somebody did a. Um, as a bush show world, well, how many ones I've ever seen on YouTube? I was like, um, yeah, that would be cool. All right. This tranny man. Whoa, what are you doing? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I was in my junction. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Uh, okay, transit. Just cross the lanes where I was. You twat. I noticed the air uh, as well on the truck's head. The AI traffic behaved itself a lot better than that. I was literally, I was like waiting for him to come past and then he just suddenly switches lanes and drives into me. Fed up van, he's definitely fed up now. Jesus. Nutter. Absolute nutter. Crazy man, absolutely crazy. We don't want to go down the caravan path on 12, do we? Straight down the motorway, so a bit of motorway thrash now. It can't be a Volvo and a scan. Volvo and scan used just sounded good and more matters of the truck form or bus form. Always sounded brilliant. Are they going to change? Are they going to change? I knew it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, they do on your truck some bombing down the motorway and they pull in front of you. Oh, Jesus. Bloody fed up express. Outside of my junction, he just said, I'll, I'll just do a strain. I mean, that was not my fault. That one. You can't take my license off me for that one, Kev. Um, but yeah, it just seemed to be here. The AI traffic, I don't know if it's because here, I don't know. Um, it's, just very, it's got, it's in a good thing, but it's rough around the edges. Your truck seems to be more refined. Remember watching Jim the Sim in the AS2 on Facebook a while back and was just thinking, yeah, they do that also. And they also. I didn't have any problems yesterday, so um, maybe it's wrong then. Um, unlike your bloody Omsi where they just turn into you. Right, somebody's going to be off here. She's watching what he was doing, I thought he was going to drive straight in the back of me and transit around. Oh, it's that weird wall it's just got off. Strange one. Is this a new update? Because they weren't there before and bought that, were they? I'm just noticing stuff again now. I don't know. It's been one of them days. So, yeah, um, we'll have to have a look at what's what. Um, I've got no DLC currently. Um, the one that I did see was like £1.45, Kev, um, which had the helicopters and stuff on the back of it. Tom mentioned that one to us. Um, but yeah, I heard there's a big spring sale coming up shortly because I said if you need any Omni mods as well, like Europe stuff, um, obviously when I get the memory sorted out, which will be in hopefully the next couple of weeks. If you are watching System John, please cry out for it now. I've got the one terabyte now hard drive. I just need a clone my C drive now, isn't it? So we've got plenty of memory for everything. Um, but I put the truck sim on there. It's on a separate drive, so I can go heavy DLC heavy on that one and not have to worry about the memory issues. And this will be going on a separate drive as well shortly. So there's more reskins and repaints coming from this because, like I said, we've got two good maps due this year with um, the out, um, 
I'd still project and uh, Alcara, so they're probably bringing back end of the year now from what I was talking, I was talking to somebody the other day. So it's probably going back end of the year before we see them. But both maps look. Do you know Ad Store is like this, but even better. It's West Country plus plus plus. You got some really good seafront stuff, um, some really country stuff, good city stuff. It's a lovely mix on that. Really look forward to it. Alcara, you've got your airport shuttles on it. Um, there's an airport on that, so it's gonna look good. No, um, it was the um, st CD keys version. Steam version, I'm guessing, of um, um, uh, CD keys. Yeah, so the Steam version, one the downloadable version. It cost me like four quid on the other sale on a few months ago. It just sat in the library forever. Now, so sort of busy, busy sorting this out at the time. Evening, I'm finally here. Evening, Carmen. I hope you're well. You were cracking on Monday. So, and you can see, Cal, we're on the renown, and I haven't barbecued it yet. So, we'll do a return journey with this, and then we'll jump onto the uh, McGill's Optar Solo. I mean, I promised Jim I would do some McGill stuff. So, we'll do an Optar Solo when we get back to the other end. Obviously, we've got some of the town stuff we can do there and with it. Alright, where's she getting off? Oh, better than the bell around there, didn't it? Alright, this is going to be interesting. Now, does it get sandy now we're going up this hill? Hasn't so far. Cheers. Don't take the horn for me out. Get uh, as was in the right uh, sort of red um, counter. Yeah, I'm going. So I'm going rolling back down the hill. Come on. Oh, uh, boys don't like hills, do they? Not this one doesn't. This is how I cooked it last time, wasn't it? The engine one like it started warning and everything. Come oh, on. Jesus, go on. Oh, wait, right now, you've got more than that up to offer, surely. And go for that. Let's bring them ribs down a little bit. So, so, bring the engine temperatures back down, Jesus. Tip me mirrors. So I do like the driving position on this nice big mirror there, you can actually see everything as well and you've got a nice little review, just a perfect view really, that's what you need to see really. Bricks. Where we're off to on our first trip. We've done a trip down on the 35, we're down to Stormy, um, heading down to Penn, and now we're heading down to Stormy. We're going to do a return trip, then we're going to jump on McGill solo. So I'll do some McGill stuff, I'm promising it. We've got some nice uh, nice McGill solo, we're going to do some stuff with. The only reason why I did West Country today is to one an iffy day, as you say, and I didn't have a mindset to do anything else. Just needed a map where I didn't have to think and sort of. I think it's just it's nice with map. There's just beach and sea, just sort of reminds you of good times away and stuff like that. So it's a happy map, what I call happy place map. So as I would return to it, I've got scars to settle with this bus as well. As I after last time. Oh god, here we go. This is gonna be interesting. Anybody there? Alright. Nobody there, brilliant. 
first time I've had that ever. Jeez, that's, that's, I'll tell you what, my day's getting better. It's not be sat in an awkward position on that junction. Makes a refreshing change. Traffic is very, very light, isn't it? Today. What's happened to my traffic IA levels on there? Yeah, can't see through your love, but thanks anyway. I like you can actually see where your back end is as well. With that uh, review, side view mirror here makes cycle a bit easier as well, so you're not clunking your back wheels off stuff. You want to be up here. Love your squeaky brakes. That's a proper now and that in it with squeaky brakes. Wait on your road trucks and will do more work than the half work truck sim or duck truck dim as he called it does in real life. <laughs> so um, I said um it's it was just seemed a lot better, just a lot smoother as the gameplay goes. The cars, obviously, if you want to join us on the multiplayer stuff, anybody say so keep a look at the CD keys when they get back in stock. It is only ex it's literally, I think, six quid or something like that. For between four and six quid or something stupid like that. Right, welcome to Stormy people. Welcome to Stormy. It's me, Evans, for now. Absolutely loving this. It's a lovely bus to drive when it behaves. Uh, there we are. Now we've got some minutes here before we do the return journey. Alright, switch that off. Engine up, let's have a look. Hey, we're doing alright on the times today as well. I'll take that, thank you. Well, then, timetable's going well. It makes life and do you know what I think I'm, my driving's going to improve as I'm doing neuro trucks in because I'm learning sort of how to gauge what load of stuff better, longer longer vehicles better, should I say. Right, guys, do you want to get off? Um, is everyone going to go off? All right, yeah, have now. So, yeah, welcome to Stony people. Um, anybody who's just joining us as we walk around tonight, not the bus stop. We're on board the, at the moment, the Polygon Studios fantastic right bus Renown, which I absolutely love in here when it's not cooking. Look, it's a Renown, it hasn't got black smoke coming out the back of it. So, yeah, right, we'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, take care, mate. Have a, have a good evening. Look, Renown, and it hasn't got black smoke coming out the back of it. Miracles, we are making progress. Um, nice little uh, sticker, I mean, just noticed that there. So, we'll head back down to Stone um, and them. and then we'll do some of the solo stuff for Jim and um, down to back down to Torbus on the McGill stuff that I've been promising we're gonna do. So yeah badger line Carl and um, obviously just in a generic first Barbie delivery though. Um it was just a chilled out one sort of do a little bit of introduction to truck sim as well uh on Wednesday to sort of what we're gonna be doing and it was just more of a chill one tonight than anything else. Time we're actually on 20 past eight. Right, let's get the motor in then because by the time we get down there, do a return trip that then should air down the tip. So, right, let's, walk. let's get this all thingy up for our turn journey. And then we, uh, right, so we're going, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, quit that. Right, let's go in there. And then we'll do the return on the 35 and then we will um get the solo and head up to um back up Torbus so it's just uh oh, do you want do you, do you like sir 550 50 thank you so do you want the same again is it uh what do you want um Thank you. Thank you. Right. Right. 
Do a start up, come on! <laughs> oh no! Don't tell me I've broke another one now, please no! Uh, right. Hang on. There we are. It's because it was in drive. I thought you got to switch to the damn thing uh, neutral, on not you? Put your head out. So, personally, I don't like this livery. Wedge line of green, yellow, not Barbie with silly sticker. Yes, I know. It's not the same as the Edge. Uh, I call you call it generic livery, and then the proper original retro livery. Um, I agree on that one. It was sort of when they took over. It was like it was just sort of a bit of a yeah. I know what you mean. It was like when Arriva took over United and you had um, Sticker Say and Arriva. Now, um, something about with Arriva, some United. A minute before we do that, we're only getting the wrist off the uh, trouble off the timetable. Um, I do enjoy a badge online. He looks like he's wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taylor, I love you. I never changed my head. Right, let's go. Oh, yeah. There we are. I think getting on trucks and yesterdays actually gave me a little bit more better perspective in regards to longer vehicles, how to handle them. I don't know. He says, just um. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Just, just, just clear it, just tiny little bit on the back wheel. I need to maybe slow it a bit down and a little bit wide next time. Alright, you come here and make sure I need to swing out of here. He's a simmer on the flight semi flies, he wants to on the dead or alive. Dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at James with his looks. James with his max lyrics. Folks. There you are. I should have checked where I was going there. Look, there's nobody coming there. It's my, uh, it's the main of that one. Hey. It's there. Let's head back down the way. Oh. One, two, two, head near the way on the open top. This is... Get the fin. I'm not going to get a run of the traffic here. So it is just sort of going. momentum for the hill yeah come on well barbecuing yourself no you don't like hills dpt coming the other way maybe he got a pass up on him he's on his way interesting that they've got copyright for some couriers but obviously not others on here isn't it like dpd we've got we've got our glass but we didn't get and we've got fed up instead of eggs Wait, where's he going? Is he going there? I'm just going to show you up on that. So that before the yeah, AI truck he just didn't set it all straight on. Nice and smooth around there. So, uh, what's everyone Monday been like? Has it been decent? I think the weather's been dreadful, hasn't it, though, for uh, spring? Apparently it's getting better later in the week, so get your lawnmowers out ready guys, because uh, you know how well we're going to have to cut the grass after all this rain. I'm trying to get mine done Wednesday daytime, I think, if I can get a minute, uh, five minutes. Let's just half an hour, more like half an hour. It might be getting drier as the week goes on, from what I heard. But I wouldn't mind, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not wanting a heat rate, I'd set at like 15, 16 degrees. Just a bit of sunshine. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. I didn't want to go through its gears there. I just sort of turned my foot off the side. I just sort of let it, the revs come back up there. So, I've one thing I, I, did, I was using a semi automatic last night as well on the uh, truck sim. Just makes handling the vehicle a lot easier as well, I think. You've got a lot more control over the vehicle. And like this automatic gear stuff where it just goes to the gears at this random set of whatever the re gear ratio is set to on the uh, vehicle. 
This is a bit more thrushy, which I do like it because you can thrush a lot as we all know. I'm very short and I enjoy this and I use this all the time as Joe Carriageway. Crash out of it there, we didn't we disappoint me, Volvo Mortar. Sort of, when it's on a level, it wants to mortar like hell. Just can you have an eye on the speed? Rattles and rumbles this lovely, I really love the sound effects on this. I nailed it. Right. I'm guessing a Volvo with a T I shift or Scania Opti Cruise last night. I don't know. Um, what did I have? I used the Mercedes. I used the Mercedes um, um, yesterday. I used quite a few. I used the Mercedes M N. Um, I used the M N was good on there. You know, ASTS and all this. Um, I used the DAF. Um, which was quite nice. I had the gear set to semi um, automatic, so I could sort of go through the gear system with the paddle shifters on the wheel. So, but the only thing I noticed when my wheel turned up, it's a set that I need to look into. Brian, I care if you're still watching. It's a set where I can change it because I've noticed my gear paddles were wanting to change up to eight gears at a time, two or three gears at a time. I was having to be quick and knock it back down by one, which was weird. Um, so, I don't know if that's obviously I can change with my wheel or not. Oop. I didn't even care, it's on. But I was sat, the wheel was jumping through, even though I was only tapping it once, it was jumping like the gears through two or three times. I thought it was a set and I can look into. Obviously, this is a racing wheel in uh, theory. Um, I have been looking at the proper truck sim setup you can get, but it's really expensive. Um, but if it's a pretty successful and we can get things moving with it, we're sort of worth it. It's definitely worth investing in or something like that. Then I'll look into again more equipment as always. Um, obviously, it'll be better overall experience as well. Next week we'll be on London with OMZ, so anybody of you guys who've been waiting for London to come back on, we'll be heading over to London next week. Um, so obviously we'll let know what the schedule is when we started it. Um, multiplayer for Truck Sim, as I said, we will be definitely bringing that. We've already got a couple of people interested, um, so if you want to join in, you're more than welcome to join us. We'll give you information out and um, we'll know about that as well when it's going to happen. So, yeah, all good, man. All good. Thank you, look forward to. I've got a shed load more libraries for this now as well. I've been busy um, downloading DLCs and more DLCs. So, there's new libraries to come for this. But tonight, I just thought we'd have just have a chill one day one. Um, get ready for obviously new sim the Sims day. And then obviously next week, we'll do your trip sim and London next week on Omnis. So plenty of look forward to next week. Um, if we do any extra shows in the meantime, obviously I'll ask the boss and ask him if it's okay. Um, obviously keep my notifications if you are new to the channel. Please consider some 
uh, to subscribe. If you are letting me see him, please guys hit that like button. You know, it really helps the channel more than so you can possibly imagine. Good fun on the quiz last night. I did terrible. I just absolutely a shocker last night. My mind just couldn't think of all. Oh, but well congratulations to our champion again, Lewis. Absolutely nailed it. And to the bridesmaid, if you're watching Rob, unlucky mate. Um, it was close. It was very close. But I didn't come last. I will take that. I will uh, settle for that. It was, tough. it was tough competition last night. It really was. When I saw who the lineup was, I was like, boom. So yeah, I was like, oh, 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 I'm in trouble. I had a bit of speed down to 30. I knew straight away, I was like, ah, this is going to be a tough night. But yeah, fantastic quiz last night. More many this weekend, guys, on Sunday with myself and Tom. Plenty to discuss, and we've got some belters from MNG. They've been delivering the goods. There's trucks in, you can drive, combine that harvester. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you're thinking of maybe farm simulator, farm machine use simulator. Is that I think it is? You can drive the combines. Um, you can drive a combine harvester, I've seen that. And it's got a brand new combine. Oh, I'll break that in a second when we get off this uh, main road. Bob crash, let me uh, get out this dual carriageway and I'll read that. You can pull away uh, from your bus stop with the doors shut in. 90s technology at its best. So, yeah, I'm going to go up the straight over our chips. I need to be over anywhere. Good old squeaky brakes. Pop them now. What an awesome quiz. It was an awesome quiz last night. Rain's got a brand new combo I was there. The motorway made a mint to meet of all the cars and got in the bloody way. <laughs> Love it, Jim. Love it. Love it. I mean, mincemeat of uh, absolutely massacred the reading that now, but I'll do that again when we'll we get to the stop and we'll, I'm not sort of concentrating on a million things. But thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. We did look at actually um, machinery uh, similar, wasn't it? Uh, machine. Um, it does actually look pretty cool. Um, God, my legs gone in a cramp again. It, um, it's too sad. Oh, I'm not realizing me. So let me adjust so let's try this. the chair a bit. Uh, that's better. I thought my chair, I must have put my chair too low and sort of cramping my knee now. Ow. From the acceleration there, uh, pedal. Shut up, and get it. Knock you off ages ago. We'll do a shorter run on this one as well because I want to get the solo out with my gills stuff. Or do you want to just stay on the renown, guys? What do you want to do? Change bus? Or stay on this renown? Let me know in the comments. Of course, the return journey on 35 and stay on the renown and head back down to Tortons. Or we can change bus and do that. It's up to you. Well, on Z not now. So we'll do the short version of this uh, route. Jim, I'll have to catch the cats first. Oh, do you want? Oh, you would want a one pound ticket on ten pound, not you? Yeah, typical. Um, there you go. All right, there you go. Take all me change, why don't you? Change, change the bus, says Carl. Look, 
this has been a successful renowned journey I have not barbecued it which is you know what I mean a miracle in itself so we'll head up to the Royal Hospital then we'll jump in the solo so then I can ditch this here, that there somewhere better Cars, even first, even what? First, even change, change, change driver. Tis Jim, cheeky sod. I read that wrong. I told you read that wrong, didn't I? Uh, what does Doris want? Um, seven pound fifty. Where you are? Um, what do you want? Five fifty ticket. There you go. One fifty. No, 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 no. Change, change the driver. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. So yeah, what do you want to do? Change the bus? Change? I'll oh, stick with Wither now and let me know. The road's up to you guys. Do we go for the solo for the return journey on the 35? Or stick with this clunky thing? We've got to paint and up to the Royal Hospital to decide anyway. Whoa, to go through them, right? Just before the change. So, yeah, successful, renowned journey. Well, barbecuing it. Uh, what's with the lie? Not now, just as you come in the stop. Evening, Jessica, welcome to the stream. Happy Monday, everyone. Late tonight, but can see everyone's made it safely on their first journey. Welcome to the stream. I hope you've had a fantastic Monday, Jessica. Oh, go on. Up you go. We're in Badger Line stuff, Jessica. Not the corporate livery, the, the old retro livery. We're in the old Barbie livery, but we are in Badger Line um, vehicles tonight. In the uh, generic Barbie livery. Oh, come on, Amzi. Behave yourself. You've been good all night. Uh, E400 driven. So yeah, do you want me to change bus when we get to the hospital? Will we return journey on the 35 or do we stick with the renown? You decide. I've just realised what I've done there, man. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Jessica. I'll quickly show you what we are currently on. We're on board this Volvo right bus renown in the first Barbie, uh, Badger line in the Barbie livery. Oh no, don't you change your back of buggers. So yeah, well, do you want solo or renown for the return journey? You decide. Change it to the trident, says Carl. Ooh. I could. I could. We haven't got the, uh, the smoke alarm trident, says Carl. Everyone be ch I'll be getting a lynch, but we could. This is, because I'll tell you what, they've got a hell of a pack of liveries out now. Some uh, crackers for it. So do you want? You decide. Well, you got to the Royal Hospital, decide. Solo or stick with the renown, or do you want the try that even? He's just around the curveball in his car. So we've been a successful. Look, I don't always cook renowns. We're in a renown, and it hasn't. Uh, inf well, it's not inf infirm. Inf well, barbecued itself yet. Yeah, it's not inflamed yet. So that's a successful journey, in my opinion. We haven't got f smoke coming out the back yet, anyway. We've got like five minutes to survive, he says, with all that. I do like the mirror setup on this. It's so clear to see every absolute joy to drive. There we are. Yeah, so I'll get over to the right hand there. Yes, I know. We're going over this right hand line. So I head up to the Royal Hospital and then we'll uh, make a decision on what we do. Head down, we'll do a demo year return, journey on 35. Then we'll head it and then we'll put it um, on what bus? You've got choice Trident. I'll chuck that one in because Kyle's chucked it in your choice Trident. Solo or we stick with the Renown. 
which has been actually behaving lovely today, to be fair. First badge on that excellent choice, Wayne. Hope you are well. Thank you, Jessica. I just thought we're, we're, I've got a point set over this boss after last time and there's a mis misdemeanors with it. So, uh, right, 650, where she is. That's a dare ready one little bit. There you go. Oh, look at that noise. A proper old wayfarer ticket printing issue and noise. Stick with the solo and the girls in the gym. Oh, go on then, we'll do that then. Right. But so we'll do some proper solo stuff as well um, a later day. It's just the solo, it's one of them bu unique buses we've used quite a lot recently, that's why. But I just had to do something that cheered myself up today. This renowned made him smile. It's an absolute pleasure to drive. You can probably thrash it around. So I can the solo to be fair as well. So I'll get what we'll do is unload, then I'll go and park it up out of the way so when it spawns me and it's gonna put me in a dodgy place with this. So Mind I remember it's um smoke alarm. This has got a sort of mm, yeah on um hold on it. the stream just go you've had a fantastic Monday it absolutely bullied cold up here I don't know about you guys are that wind I was like we in jail I was back in January somebody not told Mother Nature we're actually meant to be coming towards May now sure it'll turn my heat up by now surely ah oh, cold's not there I can swing out a bit further I wouldn't know any brilliant right it's a Penton Royal Hospital Let's get unloaded and we'll get ourselves respawned in with the uh, McGill solo. Or do you want the MCC 200 McGills? There you go, you got a choice there. I think the solo looks better, but it's up to you guys. Alright. Let's unload and get you guys off. Have listened on service. Again, 12 seconds late. I will take that. I will quite happily take that, guys. 12 seconds later. Right, let's get everybody else so we can get everybody out. Put this not in service, get it out of the way somewhere. Right. Remember off there. Right, put that in service and get this bus solo. I have a hint of solo, I'm just going to go and pack this up somewhere. So I can just respawn in and I'm not going to start crashing into this. Park it up here and it's actually around. There we go. Oh, Alright, let's get switched off. So what I can do as well to save time, I can spawn in actually at the place or point where we need to be, which is down on the uh, seafront. Which is gonna be like a lot easier. And just spawn over. I've learned how to do all that now, yes. <laughs> right, so there you go. Is, uh, is it going to behave? Is it going to load up for me? Please, please, please. That's anything with switching buses, you've got to play it. got to only behave, play the ball while you're doing it as well. Come on. Come on, Umzi. Uh, don't tell me you've crashed, yeah, bastard. Uh, come on. Just thinking about it. Uh -oh. Maybe it's pushed me lucky, haven't I? Oh, yeah. Dog's dinner. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on. That's not a bad thing because it means it's. Ugh. What's happened here? Where were those guys? It will come back. There we are. 
Uh, right, hang on. It's because we're obviously CPU heavy at this moment in time. Whoa, what's happened? Whoa. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Omzi, behave yourself. Right, that's fine. Come on, load up. Bear with us, guys. Do I need 10 grams? I knew I should push me to look at Has it completely crashed then, is it? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, no, don't do that. Right, hang on. Uh, it has as well. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Uh, right, it's not where I wanted to end it, but I think I might have to do it because I've got no choice. Uh, obviously, it's just decided to absolutely crash out on me, which is not good. It's time it's ever done that on stream. Alright, so yeah, we'll see if it comes back to us or not. Let's see if I can revive the situation. Bear with us, guys. Let's ask manager. Has it stopped responding? Let's have a look. Not responding, it has completely crashed. So, end task. Right, bear with us, guys. We're just going to load on Z back up quickly. Suspended. Uh, what the hell? End task. Right, so bear with us, guys. We're just going to quickly. Fire things back up and then we'll be back with back on track. Knew it, push me a little dinner with changing buses. It's been behaving I love the old MZ and then it's decided to throw a wobble at the worst possible moment. And it's so we'll give you that screen's nothing there. See your trick on there, ready to go, so yeah, all good man, all good. Um just bear with us while we get this fire back up. It's gonna tell me it's crashed, I know it has. So, so the bus survived the journeys, but the Amazi didn't. And I don't believe it. I can make that up. Blooming thing. Blooming thing. Right. Are we loading back up? I do not. Right. You don't see that? <laughs> right. It's just Amazi being Amazi tonight. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Right. Come on. Reinstall. Reinstall. Come on. I believe it's done that. It's never done that before on the So I think it could be because we had a very CPU heavy bus there, man. The, the Renown is very frame rate heavy. Maybe you should have thought of that because it is probably the most frame rate heavy bus that, that is on the map, purely down to the detail of the map. Um, just gives sort of it's the level of that bus as well. It's a completely level apart. So, right. Yeah, um, that's all we need. Thank you. It's my fault, I should have realised that, but then lessons learned. We're back on track, don't worry. We've only lost a couple of minutes in that. We're back. We're back. So, yeah, so successful renown journey. Um, not barbecued it, but it looks at the engine spec as well, so a bit better than the one we had before. So, it's amazing the older renown seem to be better than the newer renown from what I was talking to somebody who said, well, in real life, it's like that. They reckon the S. The R edges were better than some of the later ones, like the V edges were, which is interesting. Um, I don't know if that's down to where Volvo put things together. I don't know what motors went in the back of the V. I think it was it T edges as well that there was, where the R and S edges were sort of were slightly better. I reckon more powerful. Again, it could be down to the eco, this eco warrior nonsense that goes on the engines now, and it could have been part of that. I don't know. Um, yeah, welcome back to uh, what's going to be way back, way back. So, I'm pleased we didn't have to the next hit and the stream later. So, proper seaside town in the world. Right, let's get solo loaded up. Lovely to see you, Jim. Learned an awesome job. Thank you, Jessica. Appreciate the kind words there. You're doing an awesome job in the chat. Right, let's get this loaded up. This is why I like, it's the sound effects. It's just happy memories of it when you go to Seaside Resort and Coastal Resorts and stuff. And you see how I'm sweating. I was like, but like, uh oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're back. Good me on, I had a feeling it'd been a bit like that today. It was like when I loaded the PC up there, I was like, mm. I was like, but it behaved itself, so I thought, yeah, we'll get away with it. It's because it is such a very frame rate heavy bus that we now know. It's the most detailed, well detailed bus on the game, to be fair. Probably the best. One we've got by far. Yes, we will be coming back to the bendy bus as well in the near future. If I can drive a truck, I can drive a bendy bus. We're all good there. 
Um, got some fantastic liveries lying here now to really sort of bring you as well in the near future, which I'm really looking forward to. A show of casing. Right, so we've got my girls, my girls. That's that one we want. There we go. It's not golden pew I would need. It is. I'm not sure. Put them out there, it is what's going to be. Right, let's get that loaded in. My present for the 35, brilliant. That's the one we want. My girls, uh, Scotland. Can we have an ice cream while we're waiting for the bus? Of course you can, Carl. Who's paying? I'm, I've lost, I left them all at home as usual. Ice cream's on Carl, guys. Everybody kick your orders in. Mine's a two flakes, please. The engine changes around the line. The night is due to change that you are one to your two. Standing most likely. Ah. Again, Jim, just a wealth of knowledge. Fantastic, isn't it? Right. We are changing to the Uptar Solo, guys. McGill's of Scotland. Um, I don't know too much about this company. I thought I met. It's obviously a Scottish based company. I think, hasn't it just recently been taken over? Or they took over river operations up there, you know, uh, there if I remember rightly. Um, something like that, I remember reading. Um, time, 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 time. Right, there we are. Old destination, look for it. Lovely, lovely. That's a nice lovely, that. I do like that lovely. Look at that gold line on the side of it. That looks brilliant. What's the interior like on this? Nice interior, very nice. Nice red, red grab rails, looks smart that does. Alright, see what this bus does have. Open the engine on it. And um, what else have we got on this bus? Um, fire X, X opens. It's actually, look, this is a pair way again mod this bus, but it does come with two variants of the solo. But this reskin is a brand new pack out. That's on Hello Films, that's just recently released. We've got um, McGill stuff for the E4 MCCC 400 and the street lights as well, if I remember rightly. Um, as well as the solo. Australia pays no excuses. I left my wallet at home, Jim. He says. That's not bloody that. That's not bloody that. Australia pays no So it's okay. I left my engine change. So, didn't these take over Reva, didn't they? Operations in Scotland, if I remember rightly. Um, insert module. Let's get to that on this one, thing. There you go. Right, hang on. Thank you. Oh, I don't know how to drive out once. Right. Right. Let's go to the timetable for the 35. Right, tons. There we are. Start tons. Road tons. Turn this knot. Is that one to the time? Come as the start. Tonson's town centre. Eh? Power here to turn the draw. Station. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, ignore me. It's totally my mind for there. Right, let's get this bus off. The start of the gills acquired the green and Glasgow Reeve operations. Recently took over the travel Dundee, Dundee Corporation, National Express. Company that are Scotland's largest independent bus company. Wow. Right. Whoa, so that's quite a. Yeah, no, I remember that because I remember some of the Arima stuff actually coming down here when the girls took over because we got the darts because the girls didn't want them. And they were shocking, absolutely shocking. Shocking buses they when um, darts were came down to Scotland. But I remember part of it was that. Um, a lot of stuff came down here and never ran actually to be fair either. We made a big clear out up there. Taunton Road and not here, the station. 920, 35 Taunton Town Centre, so many people now Town Centre, that's fine, that's fine. So we'll head up to the Town Centre and um, 
right up to a little dip as well. Let's get it down to the job there. Wedge really, 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 really fine tables. Um, so it was 9.20 with Joe over there. And it is 8.52, so let's skip, skip the time for a little bit. Uh, 9.20, uh, not So it gives ourselves a little bit of time to get there. So I think it would say 9. 9.10 right, there we go. let's get to our stage 1 destination right, let's go just to dry my head all the way I do love this. Uh, is this another one of my favourites on here? It's, it, this is probably, overall, the most fun bus to drive on here. The Renown is just quality. This is sort of very fun. And I've got the Eclipse as well. It's, uh, those three, I would say, it's hard to pick out the three of which one is my favourite because they've all got a really good moment about them. The solo is just so much fun. You can bounce it into corners, you take a giant go kart, really. And that nice big windscreen that we have in front of us. Um, just a lot, a lot of fun to drive. A lot, a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of laughs. So it's still a black. Here we are. Oh, this is going to get busy. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe the bigger boss, but you know, we'll run with it. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is just a lot of fun in every way, this really is. Of course you can, you're very well. I don't know clearly what, how to operate this ticket machine. That was a good guess, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, right, you want to return, do you? No, nope, that's not it. No, nope, that's not definitely not it. Right, 50. These are men here. They're the return. There you go. Sir! So we built the dart on the round the cities and housing estates. Yeah, I, I do like a solo. I've gone now, I've got a soft spot for them. Um, I do like a minibus in general war. He said this is probably not designed for 35. This is more of a higher density of 920. I just can't remember that. 920 would go over here. 912, so let's get the time forward, shall we? I uh, just wasn't sure how long we were going to be here. Uh, 19, 19 minutes past. And then we can get a move on. On the dogs in case anybody's late coming. Get them on the arm. Give me a day ticket to you. Nope, that's on it. Right, let's do that. Nope. What is it? Wait, 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 wait. Cheeky, look at him. I'm still wearing the ticket machine. I'm going to use it. Yeah. Single. No. Yeah. Oh, you would as well. Yeah. You can give me a ten pound on the road. Yeah. There you go. What? I'm going to need notes. Shut up, Injun. Jesus. It's my fault. We didn't give me any notes. Which one was that? It was. There you go. Jesus. Vince ties those notes and RDs that the stagecoach got, got bounced around and then more than a trampoline did. Ah, I like them little Mercedes. They were a lot of fun. We had a few at Darlow. Uh, we had different bodies as well. We had the uh, longer of the wheelbase versions with martial body work. We also had the standard ones. We also had at one point, I don't have a clue where stage I got them from, but they were quite high end, like on, quite sloped at the back, if I remember rightly. Um, there were H-Regs, I think they were excellent in county ones. You can't tell me slow, I said it's really, 
I mean, the renown you can thrash, but this you can just throw into a corner. It's like a giant go car. Some lovely liveries out for this on the air as well. This is just one of them. It's probably like a. Yeah, it's the sounds as well it makes it's going through the gear blocks. When I'm not streaming up, I'm playing non It's between this, the Renown, the Eclipse, I always go for, but that was Shadow of Doubt. It's going to be a busy road for us all, though, this. Jesus. Man, I think a few people getting up. Right. You lazy buggers, why didn't you just walk down the street? Jesus. They should clean a bit of space on me. She's single guys, get your uh, phone numbers in. Alright, uh, so you need one pound ten. There you go. What? Uh, what? Single. Single is. Sorry, that's a long month. Ah, please. Ah, you would want to die right there, didn't you? Come on, man. There you go. There you go. Do you like this uh, ticket thing on this as well? It's quite cool. Stagecoach standards with 709 Dalek D with Alexander AM Sprinter body were usually seat in 25. We had some quirky ones at all though. I think they were actually in the county. It came from somewhere. They, were, they weren't standard stagecoach spec ones. And then we had so we had Marshall bodywork as well with ones um there were Viros, Mercedes Viros, that was it we had uh, with Marshall bodywork and um, long wheel based, about the same length there was a metro a long wheel based metro rider. Um Do you know I like the Metro riders as well? They were a lot of fun, especially the long wheel based ones. Apparently there's a Metro Rider coming out for this very soon. There is a 709D for this game, but it is absolutely shocking. When you, if you ever get a mum, YouTube Omzi Mercedes minibus, it comes up. I can get it, and I will get it if you guys want it, but it's not the greatest download in the world. I'll be honest with you, it's rough, and I mean rough. From what I've been told, it was imported in over from Midtown Madness 2. From, uh, and it's never just been dated or out. So, like I said, I do that so that you can point it into a corner. Look at that, the corner on that. Stick it in the corner and it sticks to the road. Lovely. Right, pinpoint accuracy. There's cut stuff. So yeah, um, there's no what you think where I can get it. Be interesting to drive. The reason why I just got it because it's a bag of spanners from. It's the sound. The actual model looks good. It's the sounds that let it down. But if, you, if you're happy and live with the sounds on it, then I'll quite happily get it. Um, cause stepping one, you can look at. Because we do lack mini buses on this at the moment. It's anything we do lack. But yeah, and the Mercedes. I mean, what else we had? We had um, some, we had we got some unusual vehicles at all over the times. A lot of busway stuff as well. We got normally it was just a hand down uh, depot dial or was for stagecoach. Those Volvo B sixes just rancid. The dash ones weren't too bad, but the plaques and bodywork ones were awful. Um, the best thing we ever had was the coaches. The B10s, they were just flying machines, as were the Volvo PS's. Anything with the Volvo PS bodywork, it just flew. Um, Stockton got some unusual things as well. I did enjoy the London Titans when we got them via Stockton. Um, even though they probably leaked more than a friggin' uh, tent little holes in. It was, they were, the rubbers on their windows were shot on them by the time we got them. Is there any recall bread vans where 
No, but um, I wish there was because again, it's something I would love to drive. There is on uh, firm bus, and that's what I'm hoping when I get my upgrades, I'll be able to start. So I did install that. It's just I can't play because it's just crashing all the time. Sadly. Uh, yeah, man. Sod off, fucking git. Right, two, four, six, ten. Right, there you go. I'm surprised he didn't whinge it off all the times there. The B6 was a low point for Volvo, so bad that the stagecoach changed all just with the B6 out of the just to 10 BMs out of the S's. What the hell, didn't know that, Jim? Wow. I tell you what, the ones that dialogue, the Plaxton ones, Okay, we're all, I think we were originally all transits. Um, the Dash PS ones we had a coach seat in them, which was not the usual bench seats for a bus. They were comfortable as hell, I've got a man. Um, for town work, they were really sort of comfortable, but um, I think we there was the Plaxton ones that had the bench seats, normal style, but bench seats for them. I right, say so they just just used to get hot and bothered. They wouldn't start up in a cold day was half the issues with them. In a hot day, they just just cooked everything going in them. But I'd love if you call red bands. That's what I like. Like something like Mercedes um, six or nine D bread van, proper um, old school C red Mercedes minibuses. They were quite cool. I think it would be something like that will come to the game because, like you know, it seems like that sort of bread van to make it a comeback in it with the Mercedes Sprinters again. So it, was like, it feels like we've gone full circle. I know going north east, they just got back some of the solos they sent to go north west, which have just come back because they no longer meet the B requirement on the emissions side of it, which is rather funny. So I've gone north east, got ransacked the world of good motors, now they're coming back again. Couple of years later, because I'm no longer meeting requirements over there on the B network. Crazy man, absolutely crazy. I'm just going to run the second lane here. Since all you were going into that lane, I'm going to pull out of there. I'm only getting on right here, so oh, the wrist shoot. I don't know, I mean, there's so many, I mean, when I thought about strange body combos as well, I'm trying to think. There's something came in my head the other day, we, we had a kicking around the app, but well, it was now. I was going to mention it, but never mind. Welcome to me one day. My favourite, Optar Vectras were good buses. Again, they had a habit of overheating as well, but United's Optar Vectras were decent. The Delta as well. That I always had a soft spot for the Optar Delta. It, even now, it still looks a modern bus. Does the Optar Delta? Right, I'm gonna have to come up that there, man. It just looked the bee's knees. It looked futuristic. I mean, Del you can always tell the up top once upon a time by the massive front end screen it had. Alright, let's go. That's what I mean about a solid, you can throw it in the corner, it just sticks like super glue. Brilliant. And it works to Jimmy Jackson, speed! But no, it's just a lot of fun, it's like a giant go kart and it's massive front wind screen as well. So they're not pretty things, the solos. They are looking, looking thing to be there, but there's, there's just something about them. They've got a character of their own. They really are. But that, uh, you just throw it in a corner and it just sticks, man. An absolute pleasure to drive. It really is. I mean, I'll speed down to a reasonable, sensible 40. Welcome to the Top Gear Does Buses. <laughs> Test drive the solo today. It sticks in the corner. Doesn't give me any uh, oversteer. How to drift the bus around the corner, wind style. Uh, Jesus. Nah, I've been sensible. Would you I doing the speed limit of 40, so. 
there and I shall spray them in there. Alright. There must be a minute time on this one, maybe because of the other way. I feel like the fields are going white. White pocky pig. Alright. It is an absolute joy, it really is. Right. I do have the indicators on, it's just there's no noise for the indicators on this. Just strange. I'm tired of the 1990s learning national down to the roof pod. Even down the roof pod, yes. James May did NBFL and uh, Top Gear, I remember that, yes. Um. Right. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and they also did uh, that bus right racing, didn't they? They had the bendy buses and the uh, Lemon the Limpians, and even they had the Soul up, I remember rightly. The BTCC drivers came and didn't they? Um, Matt Neal and all that. They did uh, bus racing, the like bendy buses, because they also did the airport vehicle sim uh, racing as well. With the old tankers and the uh, kit and trucks. They were, I tell you what, that was the prime TV at its best, wasn't it, Top Gear? We'll never see TV like that again. Those, like, people growing up now, kids are growing up, we got some of the, I mean, it was classic TV. It was just the first time, it was funny the first time, it was funny the second time, it was funny the 50th time you saw it, and it just never gets old. Those three, they were, I mean, BBC had, I mean, don't even get me started on it. Absolutely copped up when they got rid of Jeremy Clarkson and all of that stupid sort of comment. I mean, I mean, there was no good. There was never bad publicity for the Top Gear. It was. I mean, every time Jeremy Clarkson did something, their viewing numbers went up. It was like BBC. It's like, what are you doing, getting rid of him because he batted one person? So oh. we don't know what the whole story of that was either. So yeah, let's go. Two sides to every story, and the BBC just made nah, I don't know. They went along with the um, wimp celebrant, didn't they? The sort of the oh, hit somebody, sack him. It's like, look, you tell me somebody, you've all we've all done stuff in our lives we regret. Nobody's the angel, and yet, yeah, it was, it's, it was a BBC really copped up, we really did a lot. TV will never ever get num numbers that I mean. No, the shows were getting at the time, it was like, what are you thinking, baby? Is they getting rid of them? I'll read that in the second gym until we get a sort of. I mean, it makes hells a little more easy, this does a little solo. It was just. Uh. I watched uh, bits of um, the Grand Tour, it just never felt the same, though. I mean, I didn't mind Paddy McGuinness and that, I've watched it, yeah, I'm not going to lie. But it was never the same, really, was it? You couldn't, the dynamics of them three just, it worked on so many levels. I mean, some of the, when the ones where they did it Christmas specials when they went abroad, when they were like building that bridge of the River Y and other things like that, it was classic TV, it had you hooked on end of your seat sort of thing. Right. See my indicator stops going down straight up, normally going. Let's keep the speed up to get this hill. Look at that! Oh come on, no solo, go on. Look at that hill. What hill it says? What hill? Yes, I know. Wow, that was cool. Right, you're getting out here. Uh, there you go. Jim, they also did Destruction Derby, that's the one with the diet. I mean, Bendy Buzz and the Air, uh, Limbian Decker, the Grand Tour was just refreshed top gear episodes, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it was just. The material, I mean, you had right, I think you had the, just the right combo, didn't it? You? you had the good material, you had good writers for it, you had good hosts, and that's what made Top Gear. I don't think they could ever repeat that again. It wasn't the same people, was it? 
Alright, not not here yet. Let's go. Alright. Look at that, she's just sticking her cards away. Absolutely in this solo. So much fun. Alright. Alright, we're clear. Stick on a two pence piece in this turn. It really was. Well. So, uh, you can see why I drive a lot this a lot of strings solo. You can tell I'm used to it as well, I'm sort of like home in this bus. I've driven it a lot, a lot of stream. Like I said, let me know what you think of Mercedes though, Carl. I know I'll get you to a little bit of that. Let me know what you th Have a look at Omzi 2 Mercedes 709D or whatever it is. Let me know, because if it is worth getting, I will get it and use it. It's just, I always thought it looked a bit rough around the edges, let's just say. Look at that, it's still 50, no problems. Right. I mean, I'd quite have to use it some distance, I would. It's just so much fun. I better get our speed down now, we're too much fun here. There we are. Sensible now, but I don't have a third. We've a little bit of thrashy fun. In the air. Faster bits. This on there, I think it's for the fast stuff. Absolutely, not are we going up again? It's a lot of fun, it really is, down country lanes. So much fun. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Top Gear return on BBC with the three oldies on it. Yeah, I wouldn't, when you've got a sort of change of um, management as well, because the amount of money I must have lost through sort of revenue that chunk that thing brought in, I mean, the amount of merchandise that Top Gear used to sell as well, it was like, they must have made billions of it, and then obviously you had your, your like, repeat, like, copies of different countries doing it, and, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, I thought myself, it may, it may not be yet, but maybe it's another four or five years time, who knows, but then they're getting older now, aren't they, I guess, so, I mean, Clarkson must be getting close to, well, if you're not already at the time, is he? Same as May. I and mean, Hammond's obviously got all the projects going on as well, so you just wonder. It's a bit like when a band splits up, isn't it? A boy band or a girl band. Will it, does it, will it ever happen, sort of thing? Nah, I'm not even accelerating here. I'm just letting it roll down the hill on its own in a sort of G, uh, gravity. Right, ready for his tap. Oh, look, we're going ahead in that post office. What a lot of fun this is. It really is a lot of fun to drive. It's just the agent now. It's like, would they do it now? It's like a lot. It was a big commitment, wasn't it, for their time wise and stuff. Depends on that. Right, we're nearly there, guys, and then we'll take it to the depot, we'll do the proper thing, and then we'll call it a night. We'll give you a little bit of longer stream today, obviously, we're just not doing as many this week because the fights and stuff. I just thought we'll hang this one out a little bit longer, um, and then so. Uh, Changed on me, sugar. Right. Ah, uh, no max. They changed the last second, didn't they? I can't see where the light is. Well, but wax. That went well. Oh, it changed anyway. Neck. My fault for looking at the chat and concentrate. I'm too much fun with this. I'm so <laughs> thrashing it around. Right. It's like classic TV, 
But I mean, at least we got on there lots of good men there, and we can watch it, I guess, on his YouTube clips and stuff of it. It's, it's always going to be about cause some of the gags were just first day of class. So, right, and we get on off. Just so you're welcome, Chassis. Oh, uh, you would not a £10, are not you? Uh, oh, let's see. Wait. No. You left that there, man. You can't get around board, didn't you? Did he fall under right behind us? Oh, nice one. Lights have changed. Lights have been good to us. Right, well, I'm back to Taunton where we started the day. Right, lights have held nicely. Dare change, I've committed. I'm going for it. Good lights. I'll speed down. The lightest part here. Yeah. Looks really cool with the zebra crossing there. The zebra, uh, rainbow zebra style zebra crossing. Zebra crossing zebra. I'm going forward because I know I've been the wrong stand there, but I've got a little E400 under following me around somewhere. Space for him. There we are. It's not a bad route for 35 actually, this so uh, even though it's meant to be deckers and bigger buses just for the capacity, I think, more than anything else, right? Yeah, I'm back to Tons. Right, we'll uh, screen up when we head down to the depot and then we'll call it a day. Drop this lot off, put our distance inside ourselves on there, dump the depot. Right, let's get you lot off, get you roll level rim shot off, get things not in service, and then dump the depot. Right. In service, get rid of them, I know. Pontons are not talk. Pontons. Thank you, Mr. Protection, uh, correction there, Carl. You know I always butcher uh, letters, uh, words and stuff. Right, oh yeah, right. Where's my hazards on? Because I'm ready for reverse as well. Right. Right, mm, I'll switch that. Mm, yeah. Dead books, get rid of you, don't need you anymore. Thank you for the correct uh, connections there, Carl. There we are. Right. Oh shit. Thought I changed you back in the drive, obviously not. Right, there we are. I have now. There's that safe. Oh, there's the E400 that's stopping us. The stand's all yours, mate. Alright, let's go. Alright, leave this terminus is to the right of us. Ah, just look at that. Just spin on the tip of the piece, can't you? It's absolutely superb. They're very cocky now on the drive and say, yeah, I know. Oh. 
Only joking. I know, Carl. Hey, I need somebody to keep me on my toes. Oh, and he's gone to the crown. Not now. All right. All right, come on. It's because we sat in the position for so long. Right. Head down to the depot. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Having a bit of fun now with a sword, you can. I'm not going to be on board to worry about this moment in time. The sword drives like a Mario Kart. It does, doesn't it? It's just superb. A lot of fun. Obviously, you can. I'm sensible with it when I've got passengers on. Now I'm passengers up. It's like we get to the depot. You see drivers like the Russian to get to the hall because they know when they get to the depot they're finished. I remember that often. You'd see like a. Volvo B6 just blast past you and dials like that. That's not in service, I'll take it. It's like, hurry into the depot. It's like, cause they, it's like, whole time. No, no, it's so long. It's just so much fun, it really is. It, it sounds good, it looks good. It's an absolute pleasure to drive. You don't hit any... I mean, I've got so used to it now, because I've used it so often. It's like, I know how much steam to put into it, and it's just a cool bus to drive it really is one of my I would say that my favourite just for the amount of fun you can have with it then the renown for the qualityness of it and then you've got your clips which is just quality again we do well on this game for decent buses to be fair and the MCC 200 has grown on me as well I've been using that quite a bit recently I remember where the depot is this time just disappeared. That was weird. That was a bit uh, weird, wasn't it? There we are. I remember the way this time. I'll be kind to them this time. Right, um, so, let's see if I can do this without butchering it. This is interesting. Switch everything off. Right, and that is it, guys. Thank you ever so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for all the likes, the donations, the subs, everything. You've been absolute legends as always. I am back on Wednesday, but not for OMSI. We are heading for Euro Truck Simulator. So, time to get your driving gloves on. We'll see you on Wednesday for some Euro Truck Simulator fun. Back on OMSI next week. Um, we'll let you ever see know if there's anything else in between so have a fantastic Tuesday stay, stay safe guys see you all soon, take care, see you all Wednesday bye for now